Stage eight and a tough chain of climbs today on the Tour de France. Three passes to cross before arriving in the resort of Station de Rousse, a challenging day that appeared suited to a breakaway. The final climb is reached 23 kilometers from the finish. The crest is after 11.7 kilometers, and then the riders racing over the plateau to reach the finish line. The start of the stage is extremely nervous, with many riders trying to escape. One man who is involved in many attempts is Sylvain Chavanel, the only winner at Station de Rousse in 2010. It was a day he will never forget after taking the yellow jersey. But the sprinters want to reach the intermediate sprint and the race is kept together. At the line, it's André Greipel who clinches the points ahead of Michael Matthews and Marcel Kittel. Arnold Demar is suffering. His day is about to get worse. The rhythm in the peloton is frantic. 48 kilometers an hour in the first two hours of racing leaves some riders behind. At kilometer 70, after a few isolated attempts, a group of 50 riders emerge at the front. Lots of customers in the group searching for the stage win. On the first climb of the day, Warren Bargui and Serge Powles go on the offensive and cross the top of the first pass, the Col de la Joux. On the second ascent of the day, there's now eight riders in front with the best climbers making up this huge escape. Roach, Talansky, Bargui, Clark, Hessing, the future winner is perhaps amongst these riders, especially as the lead climbs to three minutes. But there's a scare for the yellow jersey on the downhill. The leading men approach the final climb of the day with a lead of one minute and 30 seconds. The rider of direct energy looks very strong. The last rider to resist is Robert Hessink of Lotto NL Yumbo. In the front, five kilometers from the finish, Kalmajan is caught cramping, but he somehow keeps calm, recovers, and secures the second French victory on this year's Tour de France. Lillian Kalmajan overcame high temperatures and incredible pace and cramp on the final climb to win stage eight. The 24-year-old Frenchman has taken wins in the Welta, but this is his first in the Tour de France. It was fantastic. I'd never imagined such a scenario. I thought with the breakaway to seven, we could play for the victory, but from there to win alone like that is absolutely incredible. Lillian Kalmajan won the stage 37 seconds ahead of Robert Hessink. Guillaume Martin led in the peloton. Chris Froome holds his lead, 12 seconds as advantage, little change in the classification. Tomorrow is a huge day. Many forecast that the state of Chambry will forever shape the final classification in Paris. Three hills category climbs, including the fearsome Mont de Chat, the scene in 74 of a stunning race between Merckx and Boulador. It's torches on the way up, technically challenging on the way down. What a day ahead.